Hello and welcome to Live in the Solution. I'm your astrologer and tarot card reader, Mary Trimble, here with your readings for August the 12th through August the 18th. This is the second time I am recording these readings. Um, I neglected to open up the software for my mic on my computer um, because it's new and I'd forgotten that I had to do that. So I recorded everything uh, without <laughs> audio. <laughs> anyway, these things are sent to try us, aren't they? And it kind of worked out because I had a workshop yesterday and I would have been editing um, in between and I wouldn't have been there 100%. So these are going to be out and um, I'm going to get them up as quickly as possible. Um, if you are new, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really hope that you come back um, and that you enjoy these readings. Remember, these are um, collective. These readings are for the collective. So take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't assume everything I say here uh, relates to you or your life. Uh, if you would like a personal, more in-depth reading, I would be happy to give you that. Click on this link or go to my website. Um, which all the links are below. These are for your sun, moon and rising, by the way. So check those out too. And the links to all the links that you need will be in the show more section below. Um, now, uh, what else? If you are returning, guys, I really appreciate your loyalty and support of my channel. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. And um, also, if you would like to um, support me in another way, please check out my Patreon page. And um, I want to thank all my patrons. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate you. Um, you know, you can donate once or donate uh, monthly, as little as a dollar a month. And that helps me in a huge way. It helps me um, with equipment and uh getting and, and the time to get these videos out um, on time. Now, my, my readings come in three sections and there will be skipped time stamps below in the show more section also. There's an intro, which is this. There is the astrology report. And after that, uh, the tarot card reading. So you will, if you're checking your sun, moon and rising, you'll be able to skip to those times. Um, so everything is below. So without further ado, let's go to your reading, shall we? Please excuse me. I am really hot. This mic is so sensitive. I can't put my fan or anything on. It's not that it's really hot. It's just extremely um, uh, humid. Okay, so what's going on this week astrologically? Wow, a lot. We have this huge full moon in... Uh, Aquarius. Now, full moons are when the moon and the sun are opposite each other, right? So the moon is in Aquarius and the sun is in Leo. Now, this is, think of the Leo as the heart, right? Leo is heart-centered. It's all about love. It's all about putting love out there. And Aquarius is all about the intellect and it's about community and humanitarianism, right? So the mind without the heart doesn't have any empathy and the heart without the mind doesn't have any self-awareness. So when the two meet, it is a perfect um, coming together and it's a when you can make a decision with your mind and your heart it's true intelligence right um so this the moon is in aquarius the sun is in leo and they are playing the seesaw game right um i don't know about you but i am very sensitive to uh full moons um, first of all i'm a cancer and um, and so I'm really tuned in to the moon and I'm a Leo rising. So this will really um, uh, affect me. Now, the interesting thing about this full moon is that there are four planets in Leo. Um, and Leo is a fire sign. It's passionate. And Venus is exactly conjunct almost to the minute let me have a look how many 
it's 22 degrees yeah there's about 20 minutes 21 minutes between them um, but they are almost on top of each other, the Sun and Venus. So this is really an accentuation of love. Now, Venus is the goddess of love, right, and relationship. But she's not all, you know, it's she's not like, it, it, depending on which sign she's in, um, she's not like the moon that's maternal love. I mean, she's she can be very moody and sensual and sexual. And there's a lot of energy here, right? And there's a push-pull. So maybe some difficulty in relationships, you know, especially we have Mars also in Leo and Mercury in Leo. And there are some squares going on. Now, squares are contentious. Um, they're not easy aspects, right? Um, so Mercury, all this is happening at the same time as this full moon. So Mercury is squaring uh, Uranus. So, you know, Mercury is the intellect. And look, um Leo is about joy, having fun, the inner child, if you will, right? So it's about allowing that to come out. It's about really enjoying yourself. Um, it's such a beautiful energy, all four planets, but they're, they are, Leo is a fixed sign, right? So you may need to look at where you are digging your heels in. Can you give a little? Um, something's got to give with these squares because the moon is also uh, square to uh, Uranus at the same time. So there's some, there's got to be some give and take here. Something will give along the way. We don't know what because um, Aquarius is a fixed sign. And with the four planets in uh, Leo, that's more fixed energy. So there's a lot of, uh, you know, headbutting, right? There's a lot of headbutting. And Uranus is in Taurus. Um, so that's another fixed sign. So there's all this, you know, um, contentious energy going around this week. So we really need to kind of take a moment and and go heart-centered, put love first, try to put joy out there, really enjoy yourself, do your best to enjoy yourself. It may be difficult with this, with all these aspects happening. Um, we also have uh, Jupiter uh, square to Neptune. That's a whole other story. It's not exact, um, but yes, that's approaching. Now, we're also feeling um, Sunday, this Sunday, the 11th, um, Jupiter stationed direct, right? So that means it's she stands, he stands still, Jupiter's a male, he stands still, and he's about to go forward. This, you know, in September, I'm just going to quickly mention that in September, October, November, things are really going to speed up. Look, um, Mercury is already speeding up. It's going fast. So we're going to feel that momentum going forward. Um, so, you know, good, good energy is ahead. And this is really good that Jupiter's going forward. Things will pick up momentum. We'll start to feel that fast energy and we'll feel that we're finally getting somewhere because we've had so many um, planets in retrograde and of course Uranus has just you know went retrograde at the same time as Jupiter went forward. With Uranus, Uranus kind of rules you know is in the sky it's like lightning it's thunder it's kind of you know up there um Taurus it's in the sign of Taurus so Taurus is pulling it towards the earth right that's you know a lot of stuff is happening with our planet right now um now what I will say about Uranus going retrograde I feel that 
it will give us a little reprieve to it's going to it will start it will go direct in uh, January 2020 so we can prepare for that time for it to go direct in January so it's going to give us a little kind of you know reprieve if you will um, and and it'll kind of um, as it goes backwards you will have a chance to prepare to put your to to cross your t's um, and dot your i's and i just want to say i just want to mention this with jupiter station direct so jupiter jupiter ha is to stand still right it's really slowed down ready to go direct because it's been um retrograde so when this happens all the qualities of jupiter will be amplified so you know listen jupiter is the planet of abundance and so you know we of course our ego is going to really play into that but i do want to mention right that when jupiter goes direct and with all um Jupiter just enhances and makes, expands whatever you're focused on. So really be cautious. Whatever you focus on and what you, um, what you believe, what you th plan for, this is a really good time to make intentions. It really is a great time to, to write things down, to be really clear about where you're going, what you want and how you want to do it. Um, because if you're focusing on that, Jupiter will expand that for you. So be really, if, if you're focused on the problem and being mired and being stuck and, and you know, terrible things happening, well, then that will expand. So um, keep that in mind. Hello Cancer and welcome to your tar the tarot card section of your reading for August the 12th through August the 18th and this is one last shuffle for you. If I look tired it's because I am. <laughs> this is my second time around darling doing this. It's all good, it's all good. It's all good darling. Okay this is for Cancer. What wonderful gifts, guidance, blessings and helpful information can you give Cancer for this coming week for August the 12th through August the 18th? Three cards for Cancer, please. Wonderful gifts, guidance, blessings and helpful information can you give Cancer for this week? Three cards, please, for Cancer. Three cards for Cancer. Oh, there's one. Two more cards for cancer, please. Two more cards for cancer. Oh, is that it? Yep. Ah, oh, very interesting. Okay, one more card for cancer. I thought that wanted to come out. Oh, you've got two. Lovely. Okay, lovely. All right, cancer. These are clarifying cards for cancer. One last shuffle. Okay. Okay. These are clarifying cards for cancer. Please clarify. There we are. Oh, Please clarify. Oh, wait, there are too many fell out there and they didn't even turn over. So I'm going to put them back. Um, too, too clear. <laughs> Please clarify. There it is. Please clarify. Oh, that's tried to come out twice in two different decks. Maybe I should have taken that. Please clarify. The, okay. That was a different card. Here we go. Okay. 
Let's go to your cards, shall we? Okay, the first card out is the Five of Cups. Clarifying that as the Six of Wands, then you have the Three of Wands, clarified by the Page of Swords, then you have the Wheel of Fortune and the Page of Wands. And you have the Five of Swords, clarifying that. Now, the first card out for you guys is the uh, Five of Cups. And the Five of Cups is, you know, it's known as the crying over spilt milk. It's kind of uh, focusing on what has gone and what you don't have, what didn't work out. Um, but so he's got the three of cups and he's got two cups behind him and he's totally just crying about what um, has gone. The thing is, is this is your cup half empty kind of thing, right? So it's really important, particularly this week with um, with Mercury, sorry, Jupiter stationing, stationing, it's, it's come to a standstill and it's going to very, very slowly move forward. So all the qualities of that planet um, are being amplified. And so it's important to keep your focus on the haves as opposed to the have nots on your um, to view life as the cup half full as opposed to half empty. Um, so positivity. Now, what's interesting is you have a celebratory card here. So you this is you being celebrated, Cancer. Um, and this is you know, the glass half full. So if you might be celebrated from it, you might want to be celebrated in another way and not this way, but you really, it reminds me, okay, of a situation many, many years ago. It was about thir uh, 28, 30 years ago. I can't remember. I was in a car accident and, um, and I expected this group of uh, people in this kind of... Uh, supportive community to help me I just expected it right but I got all this wonderful support from work and they came over and they were bringing me groceries and things like that and it took you know and I was still bitter at these other people for not helping me <laughs> and I remember that epiphany it doesn't matter where you get the help from right you're getting the help so it doesn't matter who's giving the accolades you're getting the accolades this is a celebratory a celebratory card celebrate what you have as opposed to what you haven't um and then you have the three of wands. It's so important right now to uh, make long-term optimistic plans, to see the future optimistically, to see success, to see your life the way you want it to be, the way, you, you know, in, uh, not being, oh, this didn't work out. Because with Jupiter, whatever you, ex whatever you focus on will expand. That's its nature. It's expansion, right? and it's abundance so if you're focusing on what you haven't got and didn't work out there'll be a lot more it'll be you'll have abundance of what's not working out and what didn't happen so you want to be in the three of ones with your ship coming in he's not hoping for his ship to come in he see his ship's in he's just waiting for it to dock and for his riches to be unloaded so in his mind he's making those long-term optimistic plans right who wouldn't when their ship's in now, clarifying it is the ace, sorry, the page of swords. Now, pages are about, this is about the intellect, right? And it's about a message. Um, and sometimes this message, it's always the truth because uh, swords are all about, you know, this, you know, they're all about, well, they're not all, I can't, I can't say all of them, but there are all, there's definitely seeking truth there, right? Even if it's, um, exposing untruths it's about see seeking the truth so this is about um sometimes it's a it's a it's a message that comes in that doesn't feel it's not wrapped in pretty bows let's put it that way and sometimes it's something we don't want to hear but we need to hear it it's the truth you know we need to hear it so s when this comes in it's saying don't shoot the messenger you know um 
instead of reacting to what this person says, take a moment and, um, and see what you can own and what you can get out of this message. Um, you may not like the way it was delivered, but it was delivered nonetheless. Now, also pages indicate that you are ready to go on to the next phase of your life. Um, so I'm getting that feeling with this. It's like moving on to the next phase of your life. Now, <laughs> darling, you have the wheel of fortune, you know, and I always love to sing that song. It's coming in your direction. So there's that song. It's coming in your direction. I'm gonna make you love me. Oh, yes, I will. You know I will. I know I can't sing. Please stay. <laughs> but I just can't help myself. Anyway, the Wheel of Fortune is a, a, it's a very opportune card. And it means that the the uh, your fortune and situations have have been all the way down to the bottom and now they're rising up right now jupiter is going direct now we can focus on that abundance and that uh it's very kind of ego based in a way it's which is very leo give me give me abundance <laughs> let me live in this three-dimensional world in luxury <laughs> and comfort without worry and stress even when you have abundance there's worry and stress but look then you have the page of swords um right next to it so the page of swords is an opportunity don't miss this opportunity this can be a new job it can be a new new client it can be a new way of making money Th something is coming in for you it's very important uh, that you take heed of this wonderful opportunity. Um, now, clarifying it is the Seven of Swords. I always say Seven is introspective. Seven of Swords is somebody's not quite telling you the truth in your life. So you have to be very discerning. You're very intuitive and you will tap into this. This can also be you in denial and uh, perhaps perhaps judging something in a way that's not, perhaps you're not trusting. I'm definitely getting trust here. So some, so are not, you've got to be careful. This opportunity that's coming in for you, um, you're not trusting it. And it's almost like you don't feel uh, worthy of it um, you're kind of judging it I think that you could miss this opportunity if you don't open your heart this is uh, four planets in Leo guys and it's important to be heart centered and open there are no mistakes in life you know you're not going to you know of course you're going to be astute and you're going to be smart and clever about it and, but you, you can't, it's very important for you to um, be open and be vulnerable to a certain extent. You know, don't get trodden on. But there's a, there's, you. I feel that you're judging something from the past and you're bringing that into the present moment and, the, and you could miss this opportunity because you feel that it's too good to be true or that you don't deserve it. And this is for some of you guys. Um, you want to really, uh, I'm really getting meditation because the meditation is going to clear this up and be honest with yourself. Are you dragging this from the past? Is it your intuition? If it's your intuition and you, you meditate, you're going to know one way or another. But I, I, I really think that this is, you know, you've got this wonderful opportunity. You have to, you're, I think you are, you're having a com, an internal conflict with yourself um, because one minute you're optimistic, the next minute you're, you know, um, you're not and and that can block you so go forward heart-centered you know um 
and be astute and be intelligent and be smart about what opportunities you take, but make sure you're looking for the opportunities because if you're not looking, you're not going to see. Um, but the the forces of nature and, and the cosmos is on your side uh, and, and you will or are on your side, I should say, um, and you will uh, benefit when you're heart centered. That's it you know trust trust in the process you know look at every opportunity don't negate one just because you have you know you, you have some trust um difficulties cancer thank you so much for tuning in please don't forget to like this video share it with friends family neighbors friends of friends social media please help me uh get this channel up there and running. I've lost a lot of subscribers and I'm trying to make that up. And please subscribe and, uh, sorry, subscribe. Please uh, comment and give me feedback. I answer every comment and, um, and I welcome feedback. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Mwah! I love you all and I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.